Welcome back to Locked In Kitchen. Today we have an incredible guest. He has some amazing sporting achievements. He's a two-time Olympian. He's won medals across various different championships. But I actually know him better for his dance moves, funnily enough. Harry Akini Zayeti, welcome to the show. <laughs> What's Let's up? go. You said you know me for my dance moves, so we're here. So we're here. And you can yeah. <laughs> we're vibing. You need Ready. to teach. I saw you yesterday. Yeah. Candy. Candy. Yeah. I made it a dirt. 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 You're going to teach me that later because I don't know. Whatever you want, bro. Whatever you want. Today, really excited to have Harry on. And do you know what? Today's format of the show is a bit different. So Harry's going to be taking the front foot. And he's going to be talking to us about what he loves to cook and what we're actually going to be cooking today. So, Harry, yeah? talk to us. What are we going to be doing so, today? So, believe it or not, people, <laughs> I might be built like a demigod. I may be able to hit super speeds, but I train like a beast. But I've got to treat myself. You eat like a beast. Yeah, I eat like a beast and I enjoy myself. <laughs> yeah. I like to smile every day. I make a point of smiling every day. So I have a little bit of sugar. Mm. We're going to be making one of my favourite desserts. Mm. I live the sheltered life from the dessert world. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, basically, um, I didn't really start eating cultured desserts till I was about 16. Mm. When I became like world youth champion, I started getting invited places. Yeah. I was BBC Young Sports personality, so people were like, come here. And I went to the Bluebird. Yeah. And what I didn't realise was I had a chocolate fondant for the first time. I love oh. chocolate. And I had it and I was like, what is this thing? <laughs> I come from a Ghanaian household, so like apple pie was pretty much the only thing <laughs> that they might have. So what we're making is a chocolate fondant. When I had it over in Nottingham, I even made a point because I had to have it. My mum taught me, mm. if you like something, you gotta learn how to make it so you don't have to spend money on it. <laughs> Mum, I'm so, saying the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I asked literally for the recipe. I was like, can I please have the recipe for this meal? Like, I know. This, they gave it to me. <laughs> the chef wrote it down. So the batch that we're making today makes, uh, makes it for like 15 people. Okay. <laughs> well, videographer's very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot to go around. This is a chocolate fondant recipe that you can find most places, but I had a little spin to it and we'll talk through those little spins. Take We've got the flour. Mm -hmm. We've got your butter, we've got your sugar, um, what, 200 grams of sugar, 200 grams of flour, yep. a nice little bit of caramel sauce. We've got your icing sugar just to make it look a little bit nice. <laughs> a little and bit the moulds, nice. these moulds are what we're going to start with because they need to go in the freezer. Okay. Because something you need to know about mm -hmm. fondant is, you can have it either way, two ways, but we can make a point of splitting it up. Mm -hmm. Butter it, yep. put it in the freezer. It has a, a baking effect in the oven, right? Okay. So you can make the exterior a little bit cakey. Hear that? This guy's cakey. coming for my show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to stand there. <laughs> it can make it a little bit cakey. Okay. Or if you really want it to ooze out, to mm. run out, you don't put it in the freezer. You know, you've done this one. No, yeah. really, you know the spots. So I know the world spots. So <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to I'm 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 let you start taking the lead now. Well, I've done my explanation. He's done your explanation. So this is your kitchen. So this let's is my go. kitchen. But no, yeah? we're going to do this together. So, yeah. so we're just going to get a bit of this. We don't want it to stick. We don't want it to stick. Okay. We don't want it to stick. But then this, this will help. Um, I think we need to put a little bit of cocoa powder on it so, so it doesn't stick. You see this? You see? <laughs> you see? You see? You see? <laughs> I can't do that. I could do it. I won't wear the jumper, you know. But. <laughs> Mate, you're, you're in you're in, a, you're in a good shape, man. But no, but I I gotta give props to you, and yeah. I, because because I, my friends, let's be, I'm, I'll be honest, they're big fans of you. Yeah, big fans of you. But what I what what, the, what they and I want to know is the longevity piece, because you're 35. You look great, by the way. 35 years old. Thank you. Beautiful family. You've got a kid. <laughs> How, what what is the key? Because obviously we're making chocolate fondants. Right? Is that the key? Is that the key? <laughs> Do you know what it is? I find that I'm I try not to stress. Yeah. I try not to stress about life. Like literally, if you can, if you can moan about anything, it's quite easy to find a problem. And I feel like that causes stress. That causes wrinkles. Yeah. Obviously, I don't have any. <laughs> um, and I feel like I live for the moment because yeah. I enjoy the moment. I think my career taught me a lot of things at quite a young age because the sport I do, being an athlete, you're mm. you're out there by yourself and. Yeah. Although you have a support network, sometimes you've got to take that into battle with you. I often would say to myself, well, I'm here for a reason, I do my job, but equally in that, I need to enjoy it. If you stay passionate about the things that you enjoy, it kind of gives you that, mm. that fulfillment. And I think if you can try and make yourself happy, like I said, it's too easy to be angry. Mm. And then when you're angry, you can actually, you know, pass it on. And a lot of people yeah. become black holes. Yeah. I'm going to show you a little technique now. With a, with show, a, me with the technique. show me the Cacao technique. Show me the technique. Because this can make it taste a little bit bitter. Okay. So the ice and sugar will help that later on. So I'll take a little spoonful, put it in one of them. Okay. And it might be a little bit much, right? It might seem a little bit much. Yeah. So you jazz it around and then you pull it on top of the other. Okay. And then... Look at that bit of love. I'm going to get it down <laughs> to the side. 
and I'm just going to tap it round. So you're trying to cover all the sides? Yeah, because okay. I don't want it to get stuck. No. Give it a good tap out. And then you're tapping it into the next, you see. Talking of tap out, are we allowed to talk about Gladiator a little oh, bit? Oh, well, well, well. <laughs> Gladiator is not quite out yet. But what I can Night, say... Night, Mr. Nitro. What I can say, <laughs> speaking as a third person, Nitro's a, Nitro's a great character. Yeah. Um, I think everyone's really excited for a show like that to yeah. come back in this day and age. I think it'll be really nice for families to be able to sit down and, I don't know, enjoy some form of... You know, bonding time Definitely. over someone getting smashed by another human being. Um, <laughs> so you, back, you don't back yourself to lose at all, no? I, I That's mean, not I, in I the blood. I can't give away anything. <laughs> <laughs> not even a little thing. But no, mate, it's just really exciting. Once it is out, yeah. obviously we don't know when, I don't know when this is going to be going out, but yeah. it's, we haven't got long to wait. And when it is out, I think everyone's going to really, really appreciate it. Well, make sure it. to tune in, guys. Yeah, I know I'll be. <laughs> tune in. Be, be ready for it. So now we want to put these into freeze. Yeah. I, I think, do you know what? Just be, to show Bridge. the difference. Yeah. Put those to freeze. Okay. And then we'll leave three out. Okay. So people can just see okay. the we'll difference of what it's like. I to... love seeing you in your little show. We need Bake, bake Off. You yeah. In your name. <laughs> so you're, you're definitely more of a sweet then, aren't you, than a savory? Oh, mate. I eat sugar like you wouldn't believe. Well, I would because I've seen those abs, so how can you afford <laughs> <laughs> the, ab, the abs in question are here. Yeah. Um, I won't do that because no. I'll get cancelled. <laughs> so give me, give me two months. Give me, just make, he's going to jump on the train like hey, program. I'm going to be on that platform. And then that's going to be our next video. Be like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? The process. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, well, actually, that reminds me. Yeah. I'm a GB athlete too. Okay. Okay. Did you know that? Carry on. Come on. Ultimate Frisbee. Great oh, film. Mate. Bah, 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 bah. Can I say there's um, <laughs> that in itself, Ultimate Frisbee is sick. It's actually oh, so sick. It. No, genuinely. Because obviously to make the thing go where you it's, want it to go. And it's teammates, they're not dog my teammates aren't dogs. So man, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got a gold medal too. It's man like, man <laughs> up the passport. I read that. So now we need to melt the chocolate. Chocolate. Which we have 70% dark chocolate. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good chocolate. Yeah. Oh, cool. we've got extra. We're going 75%. Come you on. You get me. 200 grams. <laughs> now we're going to add our dark chocolate. Chocolate. There you go. You're eating then. So mm -hmm. let's say, let's look at a Monday morning. You yeah. wake up. What time do you wake up? So firstly, I like to sleep. Yeah. And It's important. Yeah. I, I find that I can't force myself up. Yeah. So different days require me in different places. Obviously, mm. I'm a little bit of a hybrid in the sense of I'm a full-time athlete, but yeah. I also have some other strings to my bow, some might say. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so what I'm eating as soon as I get out, I don't necessarily like to train on a full stomach. No, me I hate not. it. I hate feeling that gluggy feeling running around. That's why so, I've got solid abs. Yeah, I hear that. Do you know what I mean? It's long, in it? Give him He almost broke his hand. Yeah, look at that one inch punch and I'm done. <laughs> Literally that. But the um, okay. brunch when I come home after a big set show. Mm. Obviously, I'm supplementing my training as well. I can't start a day without a coffee. Yeah. Um, I take my supplements. So I've got creatine, magnesium. Mag um, I hear a lot of good things about magnesium. Yeah, magnesium, zinc. Benefit magnesium there, but... is involved in like so much. It can help you sleep deeper. And mm. then even down to like dudes, everyone out there, yeah, even down to your semen. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking down to the Damn. balls. Down to the balls. <laughs> magnesium can help you. Yeah. <laughs> Can you narrow down kind of your your top, what you'd say is like your top food or... Because for me personally, I'm an egg. I'll always mm. say eggs. I eat eggs with everything. Well, if I finish off my day, like I said, I'll have a bit of porridge to start. I'll have um, my supplements, like I said, that I take to training with me, some BCAs, yep. magnesiums in there, all of that stuff's in there. Mm -hmm. Off the back of that, what I then will do is train, come back, and I'll have probably about three or four eggs mm. with um, some turkey rashes, a uh, little bit of protein in there. Uh, I have um, a mask, some form of, you know, shake for protein as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then for dinner, that's when I get handsy. I like to have a big dinner. Yeah. So I'm cooking probably, um, I make like a nice sort of coconut curry okay. dish. I use um, as much chicken as I can. Sometimes I cut it up in there. Do you always do breast go, over thigh then? I'm a thigh guy. I'm a th it's so much juicier. It's so much juicier. I go to bed. I take my ZMA, which has got zinc and magnesium in it. Mm -hmm. I take some, um, again, some more protein. I take some... Um, either just a, like a normal shake. Nice. You just, you just want to get me. <laughs> yeah, on a, just on get the B roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me just get in there. Yeah, the little wings. This, this is what we talk about. That, that, that good chocolate mix. Look, yeah. Look at this one. We've got Luna in the mix as well. Come on. <laughs> How have you found it this year? Like in terms of just was it what you expected? No. In no. what sense? 
In the sense it's not a holiday, it's, yeah. it's hard work. I mean, you know, Josh, you know yeah. people that have gone on and yeah. I think it was obviously the maddest experience and that you're locked in a bubble. I, li I like the fact of not having your phone. I really, yeah. I really like that. Yeah. But the lack of sleep, I'm someone that I like my routine. They didn't let you sleep that much. Bro, fuck, like, you go to bed maybe like four or five in the morning. One, you don't what? know what the time is, but you know the birds are chirping. Wow. And you're up. And you know when you get up and your body's like, I ain't had enough sleep. Yeah. Every day. Wow. So you go through it a little bit. So, and then that's when you can actually make bad decisions, right? Because a little bit, like, lack of sleep, that's well, when... that's probably why they do it, right? Yeah. It's a good thing I'm a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, there no skeletons in this closet. <laughs> so, young Harry, obviously mm -hmm. you were... Super successful, still are obviously, but yeah, you appreciate were, that. Yeah. when you got your um, BBC personality of the year. Yeah. So let's say 10 year old Harry, was, was he a fat kid? Was he, was he <laughs> head jack? <laughs> Did he have the muscles when he was 10? I can, I can say. <laughs> Do we, does mum have a photo there? Yeah. Like, That's my boy. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was a chubby baby. Yeah. I think I was quite like, I didn't weigh anything crazy when I was born, but I was a chubby baby, but I was quite a lean. Yeah. Like once I got to about five, six, I was quite lean. But yeah, I, I had pecs at the age of 13. Really? Literally, like, yeah, I had pecs at the age of 13, but I, I, was, I had so much energy that I've got a daughter now, she's three years old, mm. and she doesn't stop, really. Like, she doesn't, when she's You thought you had energy. <laughs> yeah, and then when my parents tell me these things, I'm like laughing because now I see it in her. Mm. And what I see is like, when my mum would tell me stories, basically like, you had to look out for Harry when you opened the door, yeah. the front door, because if you didn't look where Harry was, he could be down. The, the balcony, or he yeah, could be yeah. off. So, and it's the same with my daughter sometimes. I've got to be like, where is she? Okay, cool. I'll yeah. open the door. So, Still there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of those things where literally, like, sometimes I think your body does tell you what you're good for, but mm. equally, you've got to be exposed to it. Yeah. So, I was always in the playground. Like, I just sport and mm. it, like, you know, watching certain shows like Power Rangers and yeah. all that, I was just active. Yeah. So the concept of being a superhero was always, either I was trying to be Michael Jackson because I was born on his birthday, <laughs> okay. or I was trying to be a superhero. So <laughs> you can imagine 10 year old Harry was running around the estate and playing British Bulldog, 40-40 mm. it, all of these games, knock down, run or yeah. whatever you want to call it. Um, it yeah. must be funny though, because like, now, because I'm probably one of the only friends in my group that's always been excited to have kids. Not yet wet. Not yet. <laughs> Chill. But <laughs> yes. so we'll be we'll be seeing her in the Olympics and something. Mate, whatever she wants to do, yeah. whatever she feels like doing, like I just genuinely will just Dad, I'm sick of sprinting. Yeah, like, if, if you don't want to sprint, I'm fine with it. You know, we'll look at this on the archives and I'll be telling she she yeah. she quote this now. She'll yeah. like, have this ready. Dad, Dad I don't want to sprint. Yeah. You said I this. did tell you you could do whatever you want. It's on his lock yeah. locked in kitchen. Yeah, so I don't know, man. It's a tough one. I think when you really think about it, your friendship groups are massive so, as well I think it's quite important if you have like you just want to be around understanding people I think like. that's one of the most underestimated who you surround yourself yeah. honestly I think is it shapes who you become yeah. as a person not just from family but your friends mm. if you hang around with people that are motivated but kind heart good heart people yeah I think it can only really go upwards in Literally. my opinion so I think that's such a key, crucial thing. But anyway, we've been talking, <laughs> talking for days, which is great. That's what I'm saying, we're chatting. <laughs> What's the next step? I think. That's something I would do though, culinary school. Can you do the, you know, with the, the, the one-handed crack Oh spirit. yeah, of course I Should can. Should we give it one of those? Yeah, go on. Oh. Oh, right, right, let me, let me have a go. <laughs> what cool. I want to ask you as well, while we do all of this is, mm -hmm. So I've, I've, I've been listening to podcasts about you and you say that your parents are a big, big inspiration to yeah. you and it's similar to mine. So I just wanted to understand that in a bit more detail. Like you say they're your role models. How did they support you kind of growing you know up? What it like, is? With... It's quite interesting because they were quite resistant to my athletics career, but seeing how hard they worked, like sometimes they were like passing ships, you know, they, the romance in their relationship wasn't something that was at the forefront of yeah. their brain. Like they were a team, they were just working for a better life, mainly for them, but for us. Yeah. And they were able to build something back home and obviously set foundations like, and it was quite funny, like within my family, I'm a bit of a bum yeah. because you've got no. my older sister who's like a headmaster of a high school. You've got my yeah. other sister who's a midwife yeah. and my youngest sister who's a geographer. So I'm like this you guy can't be <laughs> who just The hasn't Olympian really, isn't a bum. <laughs> I, I ain't really got a job. <laughs> so yeah, whether there's a little complex there, I'm not too sure. So mm. having to prove myself all the time, that might be the case. But yeah. We, we had enough yeah. and whenever I kind of needed something that was provided, but I learned and understood the value of a pound. I, I like, yes. you know, the yeah. chores I did a lot. I, for me, I definitely believe in, you know, praising success, mm. celebrating success because 
that praise that I got and the rewards that I got made me want to continue. And the fact that I was always the acknowledgement of winning a race and being congratulated, standing on a podium. I loved it. Yeah. I'm, I'm a showman. If you know that you need certain things and you've got to facilitate a certain method mm. and process to get the result, then yeah. do that and you'll get it. So for me, it was just that that want to achieve, the need to achieve over the need to avoid failure. Mm. I think there's a lot of that now where people are happy to sit down rather than stand up because they're scared that they're going to be a failure. Well, actually... You, don't, you won't know till you try. So yeah. I was happy. I'm always happy to put myself in the environment. But yeah, just having the want to do but things. But I also, what I like about you is, is that you are a humble guy. I appreciate you're, that. You are a humble guy. I and appreciate I think, that. And I think seeing your parents work so hard, but having that, I think that's so important yeah. in success as well. Yeah. So how important to you would you say being humble throughout all, because getting a Nike deal, yeah. getting, would you say that you were still humble at that age? Or do you, I don't was know. It so, like, so I've, got, I've got an issue with the word humble. Okay. It being the case of, what does it mean to be humble? Mm -hmm. So humble, you can take it in one way. There's a positive way of taking it. It's just like, yeah, it's cool that you're being so humble because obviously you're not rubbing something in someone's face. Yeah. So obviously if you have a massive house and someone doesn't have a house and you're yeah. like, hey, did you like that? Like, yeah. That's obviously you're not being humble. I get it. I understand the concept. But yeah. then there's like a grey area, right? Yeah. Where it's sort of like, you get some people that I get sometimes dim their light mm. So if you don't like my energy, mm. that's cool. You don't, that's fine. Yeah. And, you know, I can remove myself or we can remove each other from each other. But for me, I'm not going to change that side. But then you're a cool guy and you've got good energy. And that's mm. where we obviously marry up. And I feel like if you've got good energy, then people can be like, cool, I'm all right with that. Yeah. And I think as long as it's pure energy in the time, in the type that I'm just here to have for a good time. Yeah. And I want you to have a good time. And I want you to have a good time. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's, and I like to see people have fun, enjoy themselves. Do you know themselves. what? You can tell quite quickly when you meet someone, whether they're yeah. authentic yeah. or they're just... It's... Mate, if you're having a good time, I'm having a good time. So if you're having a good time, that means I'm going to have a better time. <laughs> and then I'm having a good time, so you're going to have a good time. Exactly. And it's a knock-on effect, right? It's so true. when someone says that like, you're humble, I think it's a real compliment because you're just telling me that you're comfortable being around yeah. me and that's a good way for me to feel mm. and I appreciate that. Mm. So that's what I'm just right. like, I'm you know. <laughs> no, but but I, love, I love your point though. Of like, yeah. It's so true about dimming your light because yeah. like, I completely agree with what yeah. you're saying. You want your child to be confident. You don't want them to feel and like you can't be happy yeah. when you, there's wins in life. You exactly. Know? So. Like, let's be real. Like, you've had like a transformative time yeah. Yeah. which should be celebrated but, yeah. and you just got to own what you are to some degree and be happy with you're allowed to be happy with some of the successes you have yeah. and it, it's not to say that you're going to be like what's that yeah <laughs> take it <laughs> cool so we're going to put the sugar in beautiful ooh <laughs> get it in there I don't like this bit it's too <laughs> I normally rush this bit so, let so that this, so this is pale. creating the batter right the so, cake batter yeah, basically, yeah. So once that's done, we then mix this in there. You know, whisk it up. Whisk. This is how you know they're good eggs. Look at the, look at the orange colour. I have to, I have to put that out there. This is why it's so long. <laughs> look at this. Look at them muscles. Look at them. They're working. They're working. Can you can see that. <laughs> to bake, you need guns. You get me? Let, let me I, did, I didn't want to make him feel bad. I put yeah. the jumper on because you know. I've been, I've been training. I've been he, training. He has been training because, like I said, if you want to learn how to cook, you've got to have muscles. So underneath that jumper, there's a lot of muscle. <laughs> so you've had a lot of highlights, not in your career, just personal life. You've had a baby. You've got a family. You're married. Yeah. You've also met the queen. <laughs> this is true. He's met the queen. I met people. the queen when Queenie was around. Bless her soul. She yeah. was um. Um, the highlight of that, obviously, got invited. I didn't even tell my mum I was going to meet the Queen until it was that day. <laughs> it's just one of those random things in life, obviously, for achievement as a black individual, I mm. think, um, in and around that year, got offered the opportunity to go to Buckingham Palace and meet the Queen. And yeah. I remember driving down to London because I was based in Loughborough at the time. And I turned up my mum's house. She was like, oh, what are you doing now? I was like, yeah, I'm going to go to Buckingham Palace. Eh? <laughs> what for? I said, I'm going to go meet the Queen. Come on, I'm your suit. Go and get your hair. She was straight on me. I love I remember one time there was a massive thing, an audience with um, basically Michael Jordan. And in this room, it was kind of like the Nike sports personality of the year at the time. It was like 2006 or something. And then all of a sudden, from around the corner, 
Michael Jordan just steps out. And I just never forget, he gave us like these trainers with a, our names on them, some Mad. custom. You some didn't go up to me like, so you like, want to go? Like, <laughs> I shook his hand and literally it was like that. Oh. It was just, he just engulfed my whole, like his That's hand was mad. just on my wrist. And I was just And like, you were probably hedged back then as well. I, I was fairly, but obviously I'm, I'm 5'11", yeah? yeah? So, I mean, my trainers are off right now, so I've lost a <laughs> yeah. couple inches. But I'd say my highlight of people I've met, it would have to be Sir Alex Ferguson. Wow, even when he I just met... whacked <laughs> <laughs> Because even when I met the Queen, it was like, I had a conversation with Prince Philip, which was actually amazing because he made reference to my muscles. He was like, well, <laughs> you're a big chap, aren't you? And I was just like, yeah, and it was just really cool. And, but then talking to Jordan, that was cool. And like, these are sporting people you see, but obviously I'm a Man United fan. And then mm -hmm. meeting Sir Alex, I was at a sports personality, which I've just come from. Yeah. Um, those, like... Moments like that, obviously, I was just so starstruck. I ran up to him and I was like, look, I know you don't do photos, but look, I'm a massive Man United fan, can I please? And yeah. I couldn't get my words out. And <laughs> I yeah, like... and I swear to you now, if I pull out my phone now, I can literally pull up this picture. Get the photo. Boom. And in that moment... Look at little young Look, look at little me. <laughs> I'm literally so happy <laughs> to be stood next to that man Deep right there. That's cool, I was so happy. Look at that marble, look at that little marble effect. Yeah, that's you know beautiful. I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean, sir? You know what I mean? <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. So, I've got a little thing that I like to add. This will not be on many recipes. So this I is like a little secret, right? This some is your... vanilla extract. We've got some vanilla paste here, so we're gonna use this, a little bit different. I just like to add a little touch into that, just to give it a little bit of fragrance of a little something. A little something different. A little something different. So you just get a little ooze. So you took the chef's recipe and thought, let me put a little bit of Harry in it. And let I me put a little Yeah, little, little, I've little, done like, what I like to do because yeah. I'm eating it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Too often you stick to things that people don't take, but now okay. smell that. Now smell that. Yeah. Yeah? That's that a little bit of... That's good, you got, you got yeah. to do a little bit. <laughs> He's going in for it. For the mix, for the batter. Yeah? Try. Nice and thick. Oh, wow. Keep it there. <laughs> Here we go. Got you, bro. And you st he's still Thank keeping you. the secret how this one ingredient I, I won't mention is getting <laughs> used. I've got a few ideas, but yeah. I could be wrong. So, chocolate's ready. Oven time. Oven, oven time. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> this is the frozen tins, non-frozen. Non-frozen, frozen. Yeah. I'll take the top. Maybe. Back right. in the room. So I'm going to show you a technique that I use. So it's it hot? hot. It's fine. I put it in here. Mm -hmm. I just go around the outside and I roll it round. Okay. Can, can you see it moving? <laughs> We've got the technique. See it moving? Yeah. yeah. So slightly, see that? So then that tells me <gasps> it will just come out. Give me the other spoon. <laughs> no, I can't help, bro. I, I, can't, help. <laughs> I can't help you. <laughs> drop down. I've got the drop down. I've got the drop down. I've got the drop down. It's got coming. It. There you go. Yeah, it's not as nice as I would have liked. <laughs> That's a big scoop. Go on. You've got to go big. Come on. Go big or go home. Oh, he wins on the scoop. He wins on the scoop. Still, he wins on the scoop. Still bad. Go on. So, got to dust up. A little dust up. I'm going to get a little bit more ice cream. A crunchy. This is what Harry enjoys, yeah? Now, you keep it in its packaging. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Whack it up. And then it's all about how you open it to help yourself. Okay. So, nice simple. And I'm gonna give it a little. No, I'm going overboard on mine. Trickle. Oh, okay, chef. Oh, oh lovely. A Look little at bit that. around the edge. Oh! A little bit around the oh! edge. Come on. I'm gonna do a little blob on top. Hey, mine looks better. I think it does. <laughs> That's why you're the chef. <laughs> but this is all you, so I'm yeah. thank you for teaching me something new. Yeah. For the viewers who wanna know, and I wanna know, what's what's the plan for 2024? What? Ooh, 2024 is looking like a good year, I think. I've got podcast dropping, which yeah. is which is pretty epic. People have always said they wanna hear more about me, but I think my network of people would be good to get you on. Obviously, one yes, day, you know definitely. I mean? Oh, my frisbee, um, come on. Yeah, we're going to talk about those things there. Um, you can find that on YouTube as well. Yeah. yeah. Harry's gym chat. Harry's you know gym chat. Get it out. Check yeah. it out. We will put a little link in. You know all that yeah. stuff. But yeah, track and field is looking good. We've got an Olympics to look forward to. Um, and obviously, it's there's Paris, a TV right? show, so Paris. There's a TV show coming out called Gladiators that I'm featuring that we touched on earlier. So I'm excited to see that out. 
I like to see what the year has to offer and we just keep growing. You know? Yeah, just smiling, growing. being happy. Positivity and growth. It's been great having you on the show, bro. Well, thank you, buddy. So let's Time to crack these open. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Oh. Mm. 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 Oh. See, I'm not a sweet person, but that tastes so good. The vanilla, the punchy, the caramel. It works. The ice cream. Mmm. 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 So guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode just as much as I enjoyed doing it with my boy Harry. I'm still eating. <laughs> He's still eating. Mm. Be sure to tune in next year for more guests. Mm. Locked in. Mm. <laughs>